All right, guys, we're gonna take a look at this reef racer. You're gonna have to bear with the air conditioning because it's like 90 something degrees and it's nighttime. So, uh, this is the purple one. Um, so, for those that don't know, Aquacraft is actually Futaba. So, we'll see what it looks like inside and what we got with it and uh, if we can get her running because my buddy uh, Mike over at Scaleworks is a. Uh, <laughs> got me on an itch for putting on a boat, so um, that's what we got in there. It's pretty much, we didn't even put the decals on this thing. I'll just pull everything out the box so you can take a look at it. Comes in all them fancy colors. Now, the one the only one I see for sale out in the wild is the, the version 2. See, it comes with a Futaba. I'll probably just put a modern electronics in it because the, there were batteries in here when I first got it. I might have to try to figure something out. They might still work, you know, but I'm not. Um, once you see the inside, you'll see why I say that. Comes with the charger for the battery. How about the battery? I've seen better days. So that'll be, we'll be doing some lipo anyways. It's got this bag old stuff. And then the other part of the battery too even. And then here's the cool sticker kit. So I don't know, maybe if I decide to repaint it or something, I'll do the stickers. But anyways, what really matters is right here and what's inside, because I'm probably not gonna use this in the end. I'll probably just finagle some kind of uh ESC combo deal that I got from uh one of the little guys, but you see inside that Futaba looks pretty good. Um, looks like whatever this, they gave, they have an extra one of these. Maybe they're supposed to be two. Movement seems okay. So that's okay, but look in there, that motor is, it got put away wet, that's for sure. So, um, but let's see. Let's see how bad this is. Looks like looks like the servo is hardwired. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe it's the prop. I don't know, but we're taking this receiver out. It's gonna go with the. Um, let's see, it's the Futaba Aquacraft two channel. Channel 5. It's got a battery. Anyways, I'll be using some, you know, I don't know, something. I'll find something. Probably use Eugenics in there. Um, battery tray is still existent. Looks like it's just some surface rust, though. Might not be too bad. Might actually work. Probably going to try and keep the servo and the... Oh, it's a switch that's over there. That's what that is. It's a switch. Probably going to try and keep, like I said... Try and keep the servo in the um, ESC because it's 40 amp should be strong enough. But the only thing it looks like I'm gonna have to try to replace is the uh, motor itself. Looks like it's got some kind of uh, self-writing ports or jets or something. I'm not sure what kind of motor that is. Um, but I'm sure I got something that'll work better. So when I come back, I'll get it stripped out um, and see how bad it is. This is all one piece, so you're gonna have to take these pieces off for the prop shaft, which is inside of there, because this is just a tube, see that there? But it looks like the prop's in great shape. The guy's in great shape. Looks like there's some weathering from the paint just being old, you know? But yeah, that's probably condensation rust, to be honest. Probably just from temperature change and wherever it was stored. But I think this is going to work. And for $10, guys, I got this $10 at the flea market. This boat's worth more than 10 bucks. Even if I get 10 minutes of enjoyment, that's, you know, <laughs> nowadays that's worth it in itself. So, anyways, uh, I'll be right back and we'll get see what we can do about getting that ripped apart. So I tried to take the prop um, set screws out or set pins out. 
they're pretty in there. So before I do that, I'm going to give this a test run um, just to see because if for some miraculous reason um, yeah see I'm not even sure this ESC works then again this battery could be dead too at all. So the ESC shot too, um, but the motor might be okay, because there's nothing. Could be the switch, could be who knows what. Um, I did buy a couple waterproof ESCs for two and three dollars from AliExpress, so those might be perfect candidates. They look just like this. For this car for this boat in the end so um but for giggles let's see if the motor works at least i want to see if this prop moves Can we find some esc that's floating in here that's something brushed Try out this K Pro Pro. See what. Oh crap, I got something on the background. Got no style. Now you know I'm recording this. This is when that released. Anyways, <laughs> uh, let's try this again. Sorry about that, guys. Cross your fingers, cross your fingers. Not this guy. That one can go over there. Sitter to vote. ESC. Power. Oh. So something's happening. Servo works. So that's a good sign. Might be backwards. There we go. So good sign, good sign. It's trying to spin. It might be locked. This thing is like locked up. You hear that noise? Eh? So the motor might be okay. The prop might just be stuck. So time to tear her apart. We know the servo works. Look out, bike. I might be up sooner than later. All right, I'll be right back. So we made some progress. It's gonna be a couple days before I get her uh, right. Um, I was able to get the prop off and it, it spins pretty freely. You can see what's going on in my video. You see it's pretty free. Nothing's in the way. Servo works, prop's fine. I just gotta get one screw out that there. So you might, uh, that's all WD-40. I just doused the whole thing, got one of the screws out. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to get that motor out right yet, but wait until we get the um, screw out. So that'll be it for this one. We'll let it for a couple days, and we'll see if we can get a, get another motor in there. I got a nice setup that's ready to go, so no reason this shouldn't work. I mean, worst comes to worst, I just mangle it and put a motor in there somehow. I'll figure it out. Get the Dremel out and have some fun. But yeah, you see that this the rust came right off once I put some WD on there. This is a sweet rig. I can't wait to get it out. Uh, won't be long, Mr. Mike on Scaleworks. Uh, 
I'll be out there with you. Uh, anyways, these things are cool. I might even go to the flea market this weekend and see if I can pick up that other. They had a second one. It was a fishing boat. Same size, roughly. So, anyways, this is all it for this time. Uh, keep an eye out. And we'll do a... Uh, I'll keep let it sit keep working on it. Uh, side note, there's the... Uh, the... Uh, <clears throat> Terrace scorch I've been working on. All the parts are beautiful. Um, I have a surprise coming next week. Uh, has to do with this. Um, uh, you'll, you'll have to come back and see. You'll have to wait and see. So anyways, like and subscribe, guys. I hope you guys dig. And uh, make sure you check all the guys out. You know, without them, uh, comments might be a little bit lonely. <laughs> anyways, like and subscribe. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.